Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, and welcome back to another crypto video. And I have a question for you all today, and that is do you guys actually read crypto news every single day? Or do you just watch like videos or, or what do you guys do to get your news? I mean, a lot of people that I know, they use Cointelegraph. And please don't see this as slander, but I will say that they sometimes have articles that I don't agree with to any degree at all. And one of those is one of the most recent articles with the caption they added because, well, it's bad, guys. It is definitely bad. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure that you press the like button. XRP is pumping up. I am happy. You should be happy right now, too, unless you, I guess, didn't hold any or, or, or something else happened. But make sure you press that like button to help out the channel. Uh, and by the way, it's so freaking awkward. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it's so freaking awkward that people walk next to the hotel room every single time and they can hear me talk, you know? Yeah. I mean, if it's very soft, very quiet, it's okay. But you can hear them every sentence if they just talk normally. So they can hear everything I'm saying. And the cleaning ladies. And the... All right, but so it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. XRP has become an overvalued digital asset following its explosive 54% week-to-date rally. Correction ahead. And once more, guys, the people of the XRP community. <laughs> Oh, I can't read that in the video, but I can show it to you guys. <laughs> the people of the XRP community didn't take it too lightly. Why? Well, because it's not the first time that they've done this. They have actually put up quite a couple of articles which are just against XRP, basically. And I don't have a, any examples right now. Uh, I, I do remember one example, though, which is when there was a test done by the BIS... They had a sample of people and their average intelligence of you know a certain specific crypto hodler and it came out that xrp holders had the highest average intelligence yet the article on cointelegraph clearly stated that ethereum won even though when you looked at the, the, the chart or the table i should say xrp clearly won and that's again from the bis it's not their own analysis or anything like that they just interpreted the data wrong which you can't tell me is done you can't fit, you can't mess that up uh, by accident. You just clearly can see that XRP is the winner. Yet they chose Ethereum, who, which was second place, uh, to to report basically on the Twitter and whatnot. They've had a couple of these examples though, right? And if you guys know any, put them down below in the comment section. They have more often than not never really reported on the success of XRP, but always on the downfall. And if you actually look through their website, you sometimes will see good things, right? However, if you look at the narrative, he started. Think about that a little bit. Look at this. Think with me, guys. Think. If you're not convinced at the end of this video, just press the dislike. Press it, because because I I, I I deserve it. But think with me here. These guys only report the negatives. And I've done my fair share of analysis, but let's look. XRP chart triggers sell-off warning after price explodes by 54% of the week. This is really bad, ending it off with some good, right? A normal person would say, XRP exploded 54% of the week. However, a sell-off could be looming, something like that, right? To kind of end off with the negativity. Then, XRP price chart double bottom. Once more, starting with the negative, going a little bit bullisher on the end, but still, this is the same author, right? So he just basically has a... I don't know, tendency to start with the, the negative stuff and with some okay. SEC wants terabytes of Slack communications from Ripple. Guys, what is this, right? And again, here you, you you have a couple of things in here, mostly because I think this has to do with Binance, and this wasn't necessarily any bullish thing at all. Ripple granted access to Binance's records in the SEC case. This wasn't a win for Ripple. This wasn't good. This was just, as we said before, normal procedure. Ripple's just asking some documents, yet this is a new accusation, yet... When Ripple, the day itself or the day before, the day after, I don't remember, asked the SEC for their communications, what were they, right? And again, some, once more, if you go a little bit lower, you actually find some cool stuff. Um, because I, I do actually believe one of the bad ones they also took away. Yet, I'm talking about, I guess, what I'm seeing here, right? Like, you guys get it. When XRP was doing okay... I'm not talking about that. I'm talking right now. XRP is pumping for the last like week or so. Things are doing really good. And I'm not seeing any positive articles. Just like full on, hey, let's um, you know, talk positive about XRP because it deserves it. No. All these three are like, meh. 
when the majority of articles on the webs, on the interwebs, they're really, really bullish towards it. Now, Cointelegraph, then again, is actually a really good website for crypto news. I'm not going to lie to you. They do have really high quality articles. Um, and here's, for example, a really cool thing which just happened. Wealth managers gain exposure to Bitcoin via Grayscale, according to new SEC filings. The Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, which trades under the ticker GBTC, is being snatched up by institutional managers looking for more traditional exposure to digital assets. And it's written in a pretty elegant way and just pretty good. Not Forbes level, but pretty damn good, all right? I, I couldn't match it personally. So now um, what we've actually learned over a, I guess, a longer period of time, but right now is... In the SEC filing today, Clear Perspective Advisors, a wealth management firm in Aurora, Illinois, reported owning 7,700 shares of Grayscale Bitcoin as of um, June 30th. I'm not exactly sure how much money that is. And here is another one, August 14th, same day, a couple of hours um, later, earlier, earlier, an hour earlier. BTC Institutional Watch, in a filing today, and Cora Advisors, based in Cleveland, reported 14,000 shares of Grayscale's GBTC as of June 30th. Tiny position for a big firm, but Encora is a smart long-term shop worth watching in the coming quarters. And I'm not exactly sure how much a Grayscale share is worth anymore, like 30 bucks or so in this specific sense. Um, might be 14,000 times 30 bucks. I'm not exactly sure how much money it is. Now, I already had it open. Um, where was it now? Oh, no, I guess I already showed you guys all the Quintelegraph stuff. Now, before we move on, guys, if you're looking for a place to trade, make sure you check out Bybit. That's the one that I'm using. Right now, for the next three days or so, there are $1,600 worth of bonuses you can get for free. It is only going to be for about three more days, right? So once more, go check it out. A link is down below. It's what I'm personally using. And most big crypto YouTubers use it because it's pretty reliable. And it has great customer support. You might say, oh, but they didn't answer really Okay, can happen, right? But if you ever have a really big issue, right? Please, guys, don't misuse this function. If you ever have a really big issue, for example, you sent $100,000 or $25,000 there and something went wrong, contact me. I'll try to help you out. If you lost 50 bucks, please don't contact me because it's going to be a lot of trouble for me to try to do this for you. Um, and make sure it's worth it, right? But if you have a really big issue, contact me. I'll try to see what I can do because at least for me, it's, it's been... It's been amazing. If you ever have an issue, there's a support box right freaking there. And usually the people always say, oh, it was really simple. Oh, it was really simple. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm assuming, at least for me and for the people that I've spoken to, it was pretty fine. Uh, especially if you compare it to Binance or um, things like BitTrue and stuff. BitTrue is awful. Sometimes it takes four months to re respond to a freaking ticket, man. All right. Then Moolambo on 7-2021. XRP was down to 52 cents. I made a video with a thumbnail that said XRP is fine. And here are some of the comments from that video. Here is an eggplant emoji for the people or for the one that was rude to me for no good reason. Let's look at a couple of fun ones because most likely the exact same things were said on my channel uh, because people do that. Stupid Lambo. XRP will visit 0.3 cents. Dollar cents. Bull market over. We got no XP is not fine because it's going to zero. Don't be dumb people. And we got just admit we're in a bear market. I see those people very often in the chat box too. A couple of weeks ago, I think like until a week and a half ago or so, people used to, you know, mostly say that in the comment section. I even told you guys that it was toxic. Until about a week ago, it stopped when all of a sudden everything went bullish. And it was a quick shift, all right? It was really, really quick and really quite severe, which I personally did enjoy though, I'm not going to lie. Then on the Cardano front, Cardano dumped a little bit today um, while XRP is continuing on the surge because XRP kind of decoupled mostly and Cardano, as we've explained before, is not necessarily in its lane, but it's going up mostly, we think, because of the events surrounding it, not as much because, well, people are just going for it all of a sudden. It's like Cardano had an event that had a, a big um, talk Friday. He announced some stuff, which was pretty cool. And then as again, what made the price do good. Um, and with XRP, it's like nobody knows. And people, team seem to also forget that the XRP price is right now going up, not necessarily in anticipation, but really before the major factors have actually kicked in. And I do really wonder where it can go to at those uh, points. But in one of my latest videos, I talked about $20, like let's say $10, $20, because, uh, well, I wouldn't be too surprised if we really get to those areas. But... Yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I uh, I want to make another video talking about the decoupling because I want to kind of analyze that one, kind of go in a little bit deeper into what it means to decouple and when exactly we can conclude that. I mean, right now, I'm going to say that Bitcoin and all those altcoins are bullish yet. It feels to me as if XRP is just way more bullish than all of them. 
I know in terms of weekly returns, XRP is like the best performer right now. But nobody also seems to know why exactly. I've seen some articles state that it's some developments, but even that is it's kind of vague. It's, it's really hard to say. But yeah, uh, once more, guys, there's a link down below for Bybit. You can go check it out. Once more, I will um, most likely see you guys again in another crypto video. So uh, check it out. Links down below. And um, bye-bye.